Hi, uh, hi everyone. Uh, today we are going to see the introduction to HTML. So this is the HTML page. So now first uh, for uh, creating a static website, we need three main things. Like first one is main heading, second is paragraph and third is button. So for using every for uh, each and everything, we have a different element. For main heading, we have a heading element and that, that will be represented like angular braces H1. So this is a start tag and this will be the end tag. The forward slash, the one with the forward slash will be the end tag. Uh, for now, I'm giving it as tourism. And next for the paragraph, uh, paragraph element, I'll be giving it as uh, uh, the pra paragraph element is uh, P. And I'll travel anywhere you want. And for the button, we will be getting as uh, button and get started. And by running this program, we will be getting the output at the leftmost uh, page. So for after this, if we want to align the text in the middle, we need to use CSS to align the text for that. First, we have to keep a dot and then the selector name. The selector name I'm giving here is head center and then a flower brace. And in the next line, we will be giving us text align. And this text align is the default uh, thing in the CSS. And after giving a colon, it is better to give an indentation there. So after that text align, I'm giving us center. So I, because I want the text in the center. For applying this in HTML, we need to we need to combine both of them. For combining, we need attribute. The attribute name is class. So the class attribute should be used in the start tag to apply the thing which we are using in the CSS. So now, for example, I'm using the I'm going to uh, align the heading element in the middle. So for that, I'm giving us h1 space class is equal to double quotes hit center and I'm going to run this and we can find that the tourism that is the heading element will be moved to the center for applying this uh, alignment to all like uh, heading element paragraph element and button element we will be grouping it so for grouping or wrapping we will be using uh, container element and the container element used uh, used here will be div so div and div here this div is start tag here and the slash div is the end tag so so in the in this start tag i'm giving class is equal to Hit center, hit center, and now after that we have to give the end tag. We should not forget that. So after giving the end tag, so this class the alignment will be applied to all these three. So now after running it, we will get the output like this. In the next video, we will be seeing how to style and how to give colors to these elements by using CSS. Thank you.